Welcome back to 822, right, rather, right now here on your Sunday morning. Uh, we're talking about prom. We know it's an evening that is a dream for so many young ladies, but it may be too expensive for some. That's where the bell of the ball comes in. It was started to make all of that night very special and affordable for high school students in Metro Detroit. The annual event organized by Wayne County Commissioner Vice Chair Alicia Bell, and she is here this morning in studio with some beautiful gowns to boot to tell us all about it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Talk to us about prom night for girls. I mean, this is very expensive when it comes to hair, mm. jewelry, shoes, dresses. How did Bell of the Ball get started? Well, that's exactly why we got started because it is unfortunately so very expensive to go to prom. We add up all the costs of your nails, your hair, the shoes, the dress, all that it entails. And I thought this would be a wonderful way to give back to our lovely ladies here in the Metro Detroit area at least a dress, some shoes, a purse to at least help with the expense of the prom. Was there a particular story years ago that kind of touched you, that motivated you to kind of get this program started? Well, you know it is, and it's something that all of us ladies can understand. I looked in my closet and saw that. I had so many dresses that I was never going to wear again. So I thought, how about donating that to a young lady for prom? And then I talked to my mother, and then we talked to other women in the professional arena, and we all agreed that we had many dresses in our closet. Right. So we started there, and then we started getting wonderful donations from bridal shops of wow. new dresses, and then ladies would buy dresses for our events. So it just snowballed from there. And it's grown and gotten bigger and bigger, and we have some of these beautiful gowns. So all of these have been donated. Yes. And they are stunning, Alicia. We're talking about gently used, sometimes new yes. gowns that are perfectly good to be worn on prom night. Let's talk about the event next week, yes. April 9th. This is a, going to be a dream for girls because shopping is part of the fun of it. Exactly, exactly. And these ladies get to go through racks and racks of gowns. We have wonderful volunteers on next Saturday when the girls come in. We have personal shoppers that will take them around, show them the dresses, help them with their size, their color, make sure that they have someone special for them to help them pick out the perfect dress. Some girls have specifics that they want. I want a green dress, so we direct them <laughs> to a green dress. Absolutely. And here's the information on your screen 10 a.m. next week at the Boys and Girls Club, but please talk about what happens once prom night is over. Does does, does the student, does the young lady turn into Cinderella? Does she have to give it back? No, she does not have to give the dress back. They keep these dresses, but a wonderful thing that some of them do, they donate them to us back for next year. Wow. So they understand that giving it forward and paying it forward is what they're, what everything's all about. So it's wonderful. All right, now we know a lot of people are waking up going, wow, I've got dresses in my closet. You're still accepting donations. How does it work? We have extended our donations, so we'll still take them at the Boys and Girls Club up until Thursday, and then we'll make the Boys and Girls Club to a beautiful boutique on Friday, and then the girls come in on Saturday and shop to their heart's desire. And lastly, real quick, one more time for all the moms, dads, and young ladies waking up, where do they need to be on the 9th to get in line for their dress? They need to be at the Boys and Girls Club at 16500 Tireman between Southfield and Greenfield in Detroit at 10 a.m. Get there a little early because we're going to have a line. All right, happy shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, great cause, certainly, and a lot of young ladies are going to have a ball trying these on. Back to you.